A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Jessica Ochai. The United States has rejected statements by the United Nations Women's Rights Panel to the effect that some U.S. states limited access to the abortions during COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. mission in Geneva waved aside the assumption that such a right existed in the first place. The mission said on its Twitter handle that the statement was a transparent attempt to take advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to assert the existence of the right to abortion. The U.S. Ambassador Kelly Kraft said the United Nations should not put itself in a position of promoting or suggesting a right to abortion, whether they are engaged in humanitarian or development work. And in Nigeria, former aviation minister Femi Fani Kayode says the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, has misunderstood his role in the viral fallout between him and a journalist in Calabar in south-south Nigeria. Fani Kayode considers that it would have been better if the NUJ listened to his own side of the story. He had lashed out at Daily Trust reporter Ayo Charles at a press conference following which the NUJ president, Chris Isis Guzo, criticized him for his reaction to the journalist, whom the NUJ says was only doing his job. Still in Nigeria, a 45-year-old man, Eswabana Thomas, his two children aged 12 and 14, and one of his in-laws died in Ekbo community in Calabar, following an explosion in an attempt to refill an already lit lantern with kerosene. A neighbor's daughter was trying to pour kerosene into the lantern, leading to an instant explosion. Three of the victims died immediately, while the last of them died on the way to the hospital. The spokesperson of the State Police Command, Deputy Inspector of Police, Irene Ubu, has confirmed that the case is under investigation. Meanwhile, a large population of Nigerian citizens, mainly from the north, live in makeshift structures erected illegally on private and public lands. The makeshift homes are mostly built with recycled wood, zinc and aluminium products scavenged from construction sites. In search of why they live in such homes in the Federal Capital Territory and what other Nigerians think about this, 84 TV Radio News crew met with some residents. We have a report. We came in search of greener pasture. We came in search of food. Government keeps telling us to leave. Meanwhile, we came here in search of a livelihood. I sell kuka for a living, but the other person I go to, she begs and she doesn't do anything else. We came here in search of food and a better life. Yes, the government and the owners of the land disturb us to leave. We live in constant fear as this place is not ours, but we just stay for some time. I charge people's phones and also send and download files for people for a living. Our biggest problem is food. Even the food to eat is a problem. Everything happens by God's help. We want to call on the attention of the government, so please help us. We take a break now. When we return, one die as gunfire breaks out at protest. Stay with us. Details coming up shortly. As the world faces the challenge of the coronavirus pandemic and governments around the world are racing against time, AD4 TV Radio thanks you all for doing your part to stop the spread of the disease. Be safe at home and practice hygiene. Protect yourself and others. Do not panic. Do not self-medicate. Listen to all preventive advice and stay at home as well as maintain social distancing. Say no to fake news. Get authentic updates from the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, the Federal Ministry of Health, the NCDC, and of course, 84 TV Radio, your reliable and credible channel. Please stay safe to save others. Welcome back. You're watching 84 TV Radio News Updates. Three people were shot while one of them died when gunfire broke out on the streets of Kenosha, Wisconsin, on the third straight night of unrest sparked by police shooting of a black man. 
It all followed a video that went viral on social media of police shooting of Jacob Blake in the back as he walked away from two officers and opened his car door. Three of his children were in the car. The 29-year-old African-American is left paralyzed and fighting for his life. According to his family and lawyers, they say only a miracle would make him walk again. Now one regularly hears people talk about what they want in a spouse, in expression of what they call my spec or my type. Some individuals look out for the outward appearance to pick a spouse. Some prefer the inner attributes, while for others it is a combination of both. But then, have you sat down to consider if you are your type's type? Let's bring you what we found out on when we inquired into this. I love guys that are really nice, good hearts. I don't really go for looks, like, I just want somebody with a pure heart, like, one who won't cheat, a guy who will actually take care of me, money-wise, and all. So before I start looking out for somebody like that, like, I've already arranged myself, so definitely, I'm his kind of person. I will be his kind of person. I actually love someone that is very virtuous, very virtuous in attitude and... Uh, in character rather, and I, I, I always navigate towards people of high intelligence. Yeah, I'm very mindful of that, and people that tolerate a lot. I think I'm, my, I think I'm expect to, I, I think I will navigate the same kind of what I want from another woman, yeah. In a new development, parents of a Nigerian, Obari Mark Caleb, a graduate of Somi Estate Agrarian University in Ukraine, are appealing for help as they inquire into the whereabouts of their son who disappeared after a yacht party with friends. According to volunteers of the search, Caleb had disappeared during a walk with eight friends, which included a yacht captain. His companions claimed he disappeared while swimming. Caleb's parents had approached the Ukrainian government without receiving any helpful answer. Reports coming in says, the Kano State National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, has reportedly suspended the village head of Sabungari in Fake local government area of Kano State in Nigeria's northwest, Yau Muhammad, for allegedly selling a baby. The village head was said to have connived with a Hishba official, Jamilu Yusuf, to sell the baby for 20,000 naira. Secretary to Galadi Mankanu, Muhammad Umar, said the council suspended Muhammad pending investigation into the matter by the council. Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Wear your masks besides maintaining social distancing. And that's it on AD4 TV Radio News Update. Coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at AD4TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at AD4TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Jessica Ochai. We love you.